So my name is Laurent Nicolet. I am the vice president of the business units electronics by the Schmidt Group. And I am working on the PCB industry since 1982. Uh, from uh, the beginning 1982 to roughly 2006, I was on the manufacturing side of the PCB. And 2006, I changed and I am on the manufacturing the machine for the PCB. So Schmidt do a wet processing machine for the printed circuit board industry and also for the photovoltaic industry, but all a wet processing machine. And since five years, roughly, we are going also on the dry processes. That means we are developing plasma technology and sputtering technology for the printed circuit board. So the transport of the flex PCBs is uh, every time a big question from our customers because they want to transport the thinner boards with the roller transport through the wet processing and that has some limitation. The limitation for us is near 32 micron maximum thickness what we can guarantee to transport through a roller system. And below that, we developed a, um, a vertical machine where we transport the panels with a magnetic clampers. And with these magnetic clampers, we can go down to a total thickness of 25 microns. HDI. Uh, the production of HDI now is moving from the subtractive side to the MSAP process. MSAP process is very sensitive, the first step of the development, the photoresist. And that's we developed what we call the infinity line V+, plus. it's a vertical line. And we transport the panels through this vertical line with the magnetic clampers and we don't touch the active surface. So without touching the active surface, we increase the yield of the board. Because the line in HDI MSAP approach nine, seven micron line in space, and we cannot more touch the surface. So we transport the panels with uh, clampers, and these clampers as a full touch-free system. So, uh, as a machine manufacturer, we should every time thinking for the future. We have collaboration with some OEMs companies where they ask us what we can do to go forward not more 10, 10 micron line on space, but 2 micron line on space. And for that we developed a process. That means we developed, we were thinking to etch the base material to create the trace, what we called embedded trace. And for making this process capable, we have developed different new wet processing machines which can handle this kind of, uh, I will say, new design. And we, when we create that, we create also a dry process because we etch the base material. And that is made through a plasma system. So we develop the plasma technology and also we change the metallization way, we sputtering the electroless copper, that means we remove the electroless process and we replace with a sputtering process. And that gives the capability to go down to 2 micron line and space. And this process can be go for HDI, HDI plus, and uh, for flex material. The only inconvenient 
we cannot use glass fiber material. We need to use only a material like, like uh, ABF with silica fillers or polymide.